So I'm the person setting the tone for the whole night tonight. Everyone's going to be talking about a lot of more t technical things, and I'm talking a little bit more philosophically about the culture. All right. So you're going to hear a lot of really great information tonight from these folks. They're super expertise in um, information design, news applications development, um, data analysis. But I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the one skill that you are really going to need to actually implement this stuff, and that is being able to advocate for yourself and be passionate about um, what you're, the kind of things you're doing. Um, so the real future of media here is you. You are the vehicle for change. Going into a newsroom, you're going to be one of the younger people, um, and you're going to have to learn how to take the storytelling mechanisms that you use to tell story to the masses to tell that story internally um, about the kind of work that we're doing and how we are progressing. So my first piece of advice to you as soon as you hit um, your first newsroom is to find the low-hanging fruit. Find the small wins that you can take immediately to open people's eyes up to what the possibilities are in this world of digital journalism. <laughs> um, I would definitely recommend that you try to find your allies, find your own team, find your Dumbledore's army in the newsroom, because those types of people exist everywhere. Um, they're often unsuspecting people you would never have selected to actually do news apps who are really keen to it. But the thing you need to do is fight against this structure. This is the newsroom structure of project management and is so broken where uh, uh, it's kind of assembly line. People plan and then they hand it off to designers and then they ha hand it off to the data people and the coders to execute. Um, what you want to establish, because you're going to probably end up in a newsroom that doesn't already have a news apps team or a data team, is the structure that you aspire toward, which is um, mixed groups of people working together toward a common vision and every iteration of every project that you launch um, takes those people and through every step. The stakeholders are there from the beginning, the designers are there from the beginning, and the coders are there from the beginning. This allows you to be a lot more nimble, um, allows you to respond to change, to changing requirements, to changing demands from your users, um, allows you to respond to change over following a very specific pixel by pixel outline of what you should be doing. So everyone, Agile Manifesto is at the bottom of that, Google that, look it up. I'm sure Brian will reference it later. <laughs> so the key thing that we're trying to do is rock the boat without tipping the boat over. That's the constant balance that you're going to face being a young person in a newsroom, is figuring out how to get people inspired, to get them passionate, to get them enthusiastic without stepping on their toes or threatening them. And sometimes it also means playing dirty. It means um, when you want to fight for the things that you really believe in, go ahead and do that. But make sure you pick your battles wisely. Um, you're going to have to make a lot of compromises. You're going to have to sometimes give up that piece of functionality that you thought was really cool. So make sure that the fights that you are choosing are the fights that are really going to move the needle in terms of what you'll be able to do next time around. Um, what I often find is that people who are fighting against me are doing that because they don't understand what I'm trying to do or they, they feel like I'm threatening them. So always seek first to understand people's concerns. Be a listener um, and you'll get better buy-in. Come up with a common language. Every worksheet we pass around in the Seattle Times at the start of any project launch uses common languages, uses words like head and lead and nut graph and also models and views and templates and we're trying to be able to speak both to the non-tech savvy news people and to the tech savvy news people and to the business people because we don't want to be the cool kids in the corner. That's what we are, but we don't want to always be that. We want to empower people, everyone to be the cool kid in the newsroom, to be able to do really good work um, all the time, to be able to experiment because experimentation and innovation are really loaded terms in a newsroom. Um, experimentation should be taken really seriously. Um, it's something that you want to do to set the new standards, not just something that should always stand alone in a silo and be seen in a whole separate light. Um, and part of being able to do that is measuring your own success, being able to measure how people engage and interact so you can continue making a case for doing the kind of journalism that you want to do. Um, it will never be culturally accepted and peop until people just understand, yep, this is the way we do things here. Um, we innovate, we're nimble, we're fast. But always remember that it's not just about you. And it's not just about the really cool tools and fighting for what you believe in. You're not ultimately fighting for yourself. Um, you're fighting for the users, uh, for your readers, for your consumers, for the people who are taking the content that you're producing to make decisions in their lives and lead better lives. And if you ever get frustrated with that all, remember we've all fought this battle 
and we're doing it somehow, we're managing, and we're all in this together. <laughs>